Hey guys, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm Ken Tamplin, and our slogan here is, the proof is in the singing. Now, I'm really glad that you decided to check out this online singing lesson because it shows that you're serious about your voice. Now, get asked this question, can I really learn from an online singing program? And my answer would be yes, if you had an online singing program that could actually physically demonstrate in a clear, easy to understand way to walk you through step by step what it would take to make you a great singer. My answer would be no, if you just had someone that's gonna kinda play some scales on a piano and just tell you how to do something and not physically demonstrate it. Now pretty much anyone can raise their hand and claim to be a vocal coach. So how do you know how to tell what's legit and what isn't? What, but with a lot of conflicting information, what's good information and what isn't? Well, the way I've chosen to do it is by way of demonstration with my own voice and my students' voices. In fact, we've decided to choose and pick off some of the most difficult songs to sing in all of pop and rock history to sort of set the bar and be a barometer and a test of how well the Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy method works. Now, I've always said, if you like the way I sing, I'll show you how I do it because the proof is in the singing. With that said, you know, singing is a technical art. It's about 50% technique and about 50% art. But the thing about the art side is this. If you have good technique, and it's hard to come by, it's not some magic pill you can take and ta-da, you wake up one day a great singer. It's something you have to work at with very specific information. But it's a technical art, and if you are able to take and use that technique, to free up your art, it would make it much more expansive and the freedom that you'd have to be as, as an artist is amazing. So with that said, I want to go ahead and go through some a quick little tutorial and a lesson here of some things that will help you. Now I want you to think about this. I want you to monitor and do what I'm about to show you and it'll help you really decide whether or not you can really truly learn from an online singing course. And the first thing is breathing. You hear a lot about breath support and it's a mystery and a lot of people talk about it. I'm going to show you some breath support and using this is the engine that drives your car for great singing. So the first thing is, is if you take a look at my stomach here below my rib cage, my whole abdomen, I'm not going to breathe like we normally breathe from our chest like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my rib cage expanded about half to three quarters full and I'm going to breathe through my whole abdomen like this. So I breathe in, I blow out. I breathe in, I blow out. And this blowing out is the thing that actually gives you strength and power to not strain and pinch and choke off chords as you sing when you go up and you sing a phrase or a scale or a passage. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is we want to develop good vocal tones. Some people say, I have too much of an airy voice, or I've got a froggy sound, or I can't seem to grow power in my voice, or I can't seem to get range. So we have a very bright ping in the back of our throat where we want to keep the back of our throat very, very open. Now I recommend getting a handheld mirror and looking at the back of your throat and going, ah, ah, like the doctor wants to see your tonsils where your tongue is dropped to the base of the jaw. Your jaw is open, not too much, but it's open in a relaxed state, and you have a nice bright ping to this sound. Ah, ah. Now I'm gonna give a couple quick scales that we can take where you can physically try this on your own and see if this is something you feel like you can do with an online singing course. So ladies, you'll probably do this up an octave. I'm gonna keep it a little low for the guys, just again by way of, of checking this out. But it's a real bright ah, and we're gonna do a very simple scale. La, now I want you to remember to take your breath, hold it, hold it out. La, take it up a half step. La, keep it nice and bright. La, do your best to keep the tongue dropped to the base of the jaw and in a relaxed state. Now it's really cool because this bright sound is the only true sound that actually grows the voice. 
no matter what style of a singer you are, you could be a rock guy, you could be an R&B guy, you could say, well, I'm already an advanced singer, I don't know, do I really need this basic tutorial? The answer would be yes, it's the building blocks of great singing. If you're a beginning singer, it's awesome because it's the building blocks of great singing. So it's this bright timbre that's the only true sound that actually grows a big voice. Now you may say, well, Ken, I may not want a big voice. I, I, I like maybe smaller sounds. Well, now this is really important to understand. If you have a big voice, you can always sing with a small voice. So instead of in a big sound, I go I can morph and mix that sound, but I start with a big sound. So a big voice can be a small voice, but you can't start with a small voice and have it grow to be a big, robust voice. So I encourage you guys, I invite you to come join Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where I'll walk you through step by step what it takes to be a fantastic singer. Because again, the proof is in the singing. How to sing better than anyone else is a course that we have that will actually put you on the fast track to great singing. So if you're ready, let's get started.